In the impact segment tonight, it's back to school time, and unfortunately at some American colleges, that means the anti-Christian attacks begin again. At the University of Virginia, UVA student Grant Woolard, a cartoonist for a student publication, grossly assaulted the Virgin Mary in print. I'm not going to run the cartoon, just like I didn't run the anti-Muslim Danish cartoons, because it's not necessary. The cartoon at UVA depicts Mary as having a social disease. This is the same kind of stuff we saw last spring at the University of Oregon, where President Dave Fronmeyer refused to deal with the issue. He was too afraid. Question, will Virginia take action? Joining us now from Charlottesville, UVA students Amber Vervallen, chair of the College Republican Club, and Grayson Lambert, a writer for a conservative student publication. All right, Amber, we begin with you. Um, the ombudsman of this paper, which is not a um, student-run, it, it's not paid for by the college, but it does take up space on campus, called a Cavalier Daily. It's not the first time they've done this, by the way, you know that. They have a pattern of this. But the ombudsman says this cartoon served no purpose at all. It wasn't satiric. It wasn't any message. It was just meant to hurt and offend Christians. Why, then, has the University of Virginia not done anything in three weeks? Well, I think if you look back at uh, a lot of the comic strips that have portrayed a similar theme, you can clearly see that they also don't have any point. There are, quite frankly, a lot of very pointless, stupid, uh, lacking yeah. humor cartoons. We all, we all know that. There's no point to them, no social redeeming quality, but the university doesn't do anything about it. So if next week, um, Mr. Lambert, I write a cartoon offensive to blacks, all right, and I put it in this publication, just grossly offensive to black Americans. The same reaction, you believe, by the administration? Uh, I would tend to doubt that we've, uh, you know, the University of Virginia does have a history of, of difficult race relations, obviously, uh, back from the time of Mr. Jefferson forward to now. Uh, clearly, I think that uh, the, the nature of that situation would be much more different, would be much different. There would be uh, outrage, there would be student protests. The administration, I, I feel very certain in saying, would step in. Uh, they haven't done that here. Um, but then again, this it is a First Amendment issue. They have but the right to But isn't it a First Amendment issue if they attack Muslims or blacks or Hispanics or anybody else where you're right, there would be a major thing. They would lose their uh, lease on campus. What is the difference? It's the a same kind of freedom of speech issue. It is. It's absolutely the same for, uh, what First is Amendment the issue. And at UVA? The difference is, I, I honestly don't know what the administration is thinking. I can tell you personally, as, as someone who's a Christian, it's insulting, uh, it, it's very offensive, but you have to realize that that's their right to do that, and you can object to that by writing letters, by holding protest. Why there hasn't been more of a student reaction, I don't know. Don't, I think don't it, care. Look, look, it's open season, Mr. Vervelin, on Christians. You can do whatever you want, bash them all day long, uh, and nobody cares. But I, I can't, I don't understand. And we got a statement, you know, look. The president of the college, John Castine, he's just like Fronmeyer out in Oregon. He's hiding under his desk. He's afraid. Guy's afraid. Got a statement uh, as an academic community founded by Thomas Jefferson. We uh, must uphold freedom of speech. Thomas Jefferson would have thrown this newspaper off that campus so fast. I mean, it, it, but uh, you, you guys must know this is all about it's okay to attack Christians, but don't mess around with any minorities, and that's what it's all about. I think we've seen that time and time again, especially with um, the Cavalier Daily. It's, uh, they supposedly have this policy, and I feel it's been very inconsistently enforced, and I, I really wish that they, if they're going to be biased, that they would be honest about it. Yeah. I, right. Look, that's exactly right, Amber. Very, very good point. If you're going to have a double standard and say you cannot be politically incorrect and offend any minority group, but you can offend the majority, which is Christian in America, then state it. But this stuff, this is disgusting. People should write and call John Castine's office at UVA, and the alumni of the University of Virginia should not give any money to the school until this paper is forced off campus. That's my opinion. Thanks for coming in, Amber, Grayson. Thank you. Thank you. Coming right back.